Welcome to this tutorial on auditing Copilot prompts and responses using Microsoft eDiscovery. Before we begin, let's understand why auditing Copilot is important. While Copilot does empower businesses, it also introduces new complexities and risk. Employees increasingly rely on Copilot to make critical decisions, but without proper sight, these interactions can lead to potential business harm. Let's understand why auditing Copilot is essential. Compliance. Organizations need to be able to monitor and measure Copilot usage to ensure that regulations are met. Understanding the risk. Uncontrolled usage can lead to inaccuracies, bias, misuse, sensitive data being exposed. Mitigating the risk. Auditing Copilot enables organizations to put policies in place to mitigate these risks, ensuring responsible and effective AI interactions within your organization. Adoption and Cost Management Auditing Copilot usage provides insights that assess effectiveness, ROI, and identify areas for improvement such as refining prompts or facilitating training. Now that we understand the why, let's delve into the how of auditing Copilot interactions. Hi everyone, I'm going to explain to you about how can we audit Copilot interactions. What's the way Microsoft is giving to us as administrators to find the interactions? I have tried many methods, read a lot of blogs regarding how to audit Copilot, blogs that were published by Microsoft, and finally I found a way which is not easy, not fast, and not highly recommended to use all the time, which is eDiscovery Premium. Heading there, there are three steps we have to do to audit Copilot. Three main steps. Step number one, which is creating a case. So you have to create a case, give it a name, add the members of that case, and submit it. I have already four cases that are created or creating one for the purpose of this video. Recording test let's see copilot. Of course you can add a description. New you can add the members for that who are the members? Let's say Add one member, next, and submit. Of course, I left it as the default here. I'll keep it as it is. It may take, it didn't take much uh, creating case. Now let's go to the second step, which is creating the new collection, which will take maybe a few minutes to be created. We'll have to add more details here, which is let's say collection test copilot. Let's name it like this. Of course, you can add the description here. Custodial data sources must be select all. No need for the non custodial sources. You have to choose one here, which is, is going to be exchange mailbox. And all users are included. Next. And here is the main thing here, which is choosing the right query to audit Copilot and to try to capture it, those interactions. So here, under select a filter, you have to get type. You can scroll down and find it. Type. The operator is going to be equals any of, and here's, here's the most important value to add, which is co-pilot activity. And click on apply. So now you have this query ready and submit. That was the second step in a discovery premium done. The third one, which is adding a review set. Let's create a review set. Test copilot 
review set and that's the name of course you can add description for it which is a, a set of documents where you can analyze view tag export data in a case so here we have the review set so we have the review set now let's go to the case here let's go to cases that we created so three main steps as we mentioned creating case collection and the review set now in the case that we created for the purpose of this video I called it recording test go there we go to collections and here we have this collection you click on it and let's give it a moment still the status is progressing Apparently, it's going to take a few minutes to be ready. And that's the review set. You can see all the also the size is still zero because there is still no data inside it. We have to wait. back Okay, we can see here that in the collection, now you can see commit collection, which is you're gonna press on, I'm gonna press on commit collection. We already created a review set, which is add an existing one, which is test copilot, the one we created, and commit. Now the system will begin adding items from the collection to review set. You can see also the status here is adding to review set. Once the commit process is complete, we're gonna navigate to the review sets. There we will find the data ready to review. So adding to review set, of course, it's gonna take few minutes here after waiting around 15 minutes till uh, the process finished you'll see that the status changed to committed now you can press on the collection now say this is committed Let's go to the review set, open review set. Now we'll see the data, the interaction for copilot. You can see here the table. It says the number of interactions, pages, and here if you press, let's say on the first interaction, it's giving you the user and the copilot in word. I'm sorry, that's the interaction. So you can see that's the process that we used in eDiscovery Premium. Three steps that leads you to this outcome. Ready to take control with more sophisticated AI auditing? Business GPT AI Firewall offers advanced risk management, Classify sensitive data, apply rules based on company policies, 
handle prompt injection and other external threats, prevent sensitive data from being exposed. AI governance policies to ensure responsible AI use, actionable insights into AI usage and adoption trends. Business safeguarding for peace of mind. Explore Business GPT today and unlock a new level of AI security and control for your organization. Visit www.businessgpt.pro.